everybody, welcome back to the channel. Labor Day weekend took Cole and me to the southern portion of Illinois along the CSX St. Louis line subdivision. The first place we visited was Effingham, Illinois, a mid-sized town commonly known as the Crossroads of America. The city is known for the intersection of Interstates 57 and Interstate 70, as well as the intersection of two important railroad lines. The Canadian National Champagne Subdivision, formerly the Illinois Central Main Line of Mid-America, and the CSX, St. Louis Line, formerly known as Conrail, Penn Central, and the Pennsylvania Railroad. The current CSX line was actually founded as the St. Louis, Vandalia, and Terre Haute Railroad prior to 1870. It was merged with the Terre Haute and Indianapolis Railroad in 1865. Regarding the history of the current CSX line, the Terre Haute and Richmond Railroad was chartered January 1847. Construction started in late 1849. In 1852, 73 miles of track between Indianapolis and Terre Haute were completed. On March 6, 1865, the name was changed to the Terre Haute and Indianapolis Railroad. On April 26, 1870, an extension was finished from Terre Haute to the Illinois State Line that met up with the St. Louis, Vandalia, and Terre Haute Railroad. Mergers took place, and in 1905, the Vandalia Railroad Company was formed. This formed a 471-mile railroad consisting of lines mostly west of Indianapolis. In 1917, the Panhandle, the Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Chicago, and St. Louis Railway, which the Pennsylvania Railroad had acquired in 1868, was merged into the Vandalia Railroad to form the Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Chicago, and St. Louis Railroad. Hence the Pennsylvania Railroad history on this line. And regarding the Canadian National Champagne Subdivision, originally an Illinois Central line, main line of Mid-America, the Illinois Central was one of the oldest Class I railroads in the United States. It was incorporated by the Illinois General Assembly on January 16, 1836. Within a few months, Representative Zadok Casey, who gives the name to both towns Casey, Illinois and Caseyville, Illinois, introduced a bill in the U.S. House of Representatives authorizing a land grant to the company to construct a line from the mouth of the Ohio River to Chicago and on to Galena. The IC was chartered by the Illinois General Assembly on February 10, 1851. Senator Stephen A. Douglas and later President Abraham Lincoln were both Illinois Central men who lobbied for it. Upon the Illinois Central's completion in 1856, it was the longest railroad in the world. Its main line went from Cairo, Illinois, at the southern tip of the state, to Galena in the northwest corner. A branch line went from Centralia to the rapidly growing city of Chicago. And I should mention Centralia got its name from the Illinois Central Railroad. The railroad existed as the Illinois Central Gulf Railroad between 1972 and 1988 after a 1972 merger with the Gulf, Mobile, and Ohio Railroad. After 1988, the railroad changed its name back to the Illinois Central. On uh, February 11th, 1998, the Illinois Central was purchased for about $2.4 billion in cash and shares by the Canadian National Railway. On the way to Effingham, from where we were staying in Greenup, Illinois, Cole saw on one of the Facebook groups that a CSX train with a Kansas City Southern locomotive leading was heading toward us. So we headed to the tracks. And we invite you to come along with us as we rail fan during this Labor Day holiday weekend.
So we caught a uh, heads up on Facebook for the CSX St. Louis line heads up group about the eastbound freight train with uh, KCS leader and I didn't realize it also had a KCS DPU. We're at uh, York Road in Greenup, Illinois, southeast central Illinois. Um, looking at the CSX St. Louis line right now. Going to do some roaming around and see what else we can find down here. Thanks for watching. All right, we've relocated to Effingham, Illinois. We're on the Champagne sub of Canadian National, former main line of Mid-America, Illinois Central. We have an Amtrak train, southbound Amtrak train coming our way. Still here at the Champagne Subs, Canadian National, Effingham, northbound freight train on the CN. Crossing the uh, CSX Diamond, banging out a pattern down there.
All right, that last train was westbound CSX Intermodal headed towards St. Louis. And now we've turned the camera around. We've got a southbound CN here at the Effingham, Met uh, not Metro, the Effingham Amtrak station, the Diamond, CN, and CSX. And a an eastbound CSX coming our way here at the Diamond.
All right, there we go. Labor Day weekend, eastbound CSX Freight, Effingham, Illinois, here at the Effingham Amtrak station. Say hi, Cole. All right, we're back here at York Road where we started the day, Greenup, Illinois. The crossing with lights and gates, but no bells. We have a westbound CSX freight train. This came through KZ a little bit ago. It'll be here in just a few minutes. All right, Labor Day weekend. South Central Illinois, Southeastern, Southeast Central Illinois. Spent a lot of the day in Effingham. A little bit of time in Greenup. We have yet to make it over to KZ yet. Same line though, CSX St. Louis line. You can see the headlight on this thing, so it should be here in a second. It's the size of that bird on the tracks over there. It's huge. few of them. I can hear the horn. Here come our uh, gates with no bell. Silent railroad crossing. It's like Union Pacific. They use this line a lot.
off into the sunset down to St. Louis. See Cole out there in the bright sun, stopping the camera. We're gonna roam around, see what else we can find here on this Labor Day weekend. All right, we've made it back to Casey, Illinois, home of the Popcorn Festival. We're downtown. I think we see a train coming on the drone. Would be an eastbound CSX freight, the St. Louis line. We'll go up here and check the track, see what it looks like. Nothing yet, but uh, we'll stand by. All right, we're still waiting. As of right now, this is the only uh, red blinking light that I can see. All right, well, we, uh, we're gonna call it a day for day one here. Labor Day weekend, rail fanning in central Illinois. We made it to KZ and thought we saw a light down in the distance. We lost the daylight and gotta call it a night, nothing coming. If anything else comes through while we're still here, we'll bring it to you, but otherwise we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching the video.